We're starting a new chapter now in our AutoCAD course. And what we're going to be looking at is signing into our Autodesk account through AutoCAD. Now, what this allows you to do is it allows you to start utilizing the cloud to save your AutoCAD drawings. Now, if you've got an Autodesk account, you may already be aware of this. So you could potentially jump over this chapter in the course. However, if you don't have an Autodesk account, what it means is that you don't have access to things like the AutoCAD mobile app and the AutoCAD web app. Those tools are available if you've got an Autodesk account. So how do you work with an Autodesk account when you're in the AutoCAD desktop app, your regular AutoCAD that you can see in front of you right now? Well, it's actually very, very easy to set up. One thing I will say, though, is you do need to have an active drawing in place, really, to actually see how this kind of works. Otherwise, it doesn't kind of tie together very, very well. Now, I've got the 00, zero ground floor plan underscore rev C available for you. And again, it's the same drawing that we've used in previous chapters, but you can download this particular version of it just purely to follow along with these videos about the Autodesk account. So I'm in AutoCAD, I've got my drawing open, and I go up to the info bar top right of the AutoCAD screen. It says sign in. So when I click on this down arrow here, what it'll allow me to do is sign into my Autodesk account. Now, if you don't have an Autodesk account and you want to set one up, you still click on sign in to Autodesk account. Now, obviously, you do need an internet connection for this because you're using the cloud. So you can see at the moment that I've got sign in and I've got email and then it will click on next and you'll go to your password. Now, I don't have that right now. So I click on create account like so. You put in these details. So you put in first name, last name, email, confirm email and password, and you agree to the Autodesk terms of use and privacy statement. Autodesk will not use your details for anything other than your Autodesk account. You then create an account. As soon as you do that, you'll get the usual email from Autodesk to confirm who you are. You click on the link in the email and your Autodesk account is created. Once you've done that, you can click on sign in and sign in to your Autodesk account. It's that quick and it's that easy. So I'll just close that now and I'll stay in our drawing and then in the next video, I'll show you how to sign into your new Autodesk account.